We're honored to have you here this morning to talk about an anti-fireworks crusade to try to pre prevent debilitating injuries and death to people resulting from fireworks and of course prevent the fires that occur as a result of fireworks discharge. I'd like to kick off this press conference first with having CAL FIRE Region Chief, Southern Region Chief Dale Hutchison provide a few words and then they will be followed by speakers that will emphasize how important an anti-fireworks campaign is, number one, and number two, encouraging families to attend public fireworks displays. So let us look for those two very important points. Chief Hutchison. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Forestry, I want to thank everybody for coming out uh, today. Uh, CAL FIRE is committed to making sure that the information about the dangerous fireworks and the proper use of fireworks gets out to the public. We appreciate all of the cooperation that we have here in Riverside County as well as elsewhere in Southern California where we've teamed up with local law enforcement, city law enforcement, uh, Office of State Fire Marshal and CAL FIRE and we've been very successful so far in working various operations to prevent the illegal transportation of fireworks into the state. We just finished an operation in the northern San Bernardino Desert where we did a fireworks interdiction program where we made quite a few contacts, up to 170 contacts of, with folks for illegal transportation of fireworks, and we were very successful. And we, we would not have been successful if it wouldn't have been for the good partnership we had in San Bernardino County with the California Highway Patrol, our our uh, Office of State Fire Marshal, San Bernardino County Sheriff, and Indio County Sheriff in the local fire departments and fire districts. So this is a good event. We really want to get the message out that take the opportunity to take your family to a professional fireworks display that's handled by the professionals. That's better for the families. That's better for the fire department. We try to prevent any unwanted fire ignitions by the illegal use of fireworks, but more importantly, we want to prevent any injury to anybody for the illegal use and misuse of fireworks. So thank you, and I'll turn it back over to uh, Chief Hawkins. I just want to call to your attention that fireworks do injure people. Annually, emergency rooms and hospitals see kids come in with their eyes blown out, with a finger blown off, and, and actually in deaths. It's very, very serious. Fireworks cause injuries. Let us not forget that. Over half of the fireworks injuries result in burns caused by sparklers that reach 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Half of these injuries were burns, and another 21% of the fireworks problems uh, or fire uh, cracker problems, fire sparklers, were contusions and lacerations. The risk of fireworks injuries is most serious to children in the age group of 5 to 14 years. Nationally, let us note this, nationally, more fires are reported on the 4th of July than any other day of the year. Fireworks cause injuries and damage property. In 2010, fireworks nationally caused 15,500 fires, which is nearly 300 less than from 2009, and I'll explain that in a second. Last year, Cal Fire, Riverside County firefighters responded to 33 fireworks caused fires in and around the 4th of July. Our peace officers, which four are behind me, and I'd like them to raise their hands, they issued three citations for illegal fireworks. One of the reasons that you might think three fire uh, citations is low is because the Board of Supervisors in Riverside County have stood tall in declaring that safe and sane fireworks are truly not that. And they, they have resolved that safe and sane fireworks are illegal in the county unincorporated areas. And as such, our injuries and fires are down. And we're very proud of that. We have a zero tolerance for illegal or safe and sane fireworks in areas where they're outlawed. Keeping our residents and visitors safe is our number one goal for the 4th of July weekend. Please spread the word and you personally take advantage of public fireworks displays. That's where you can safely enjoy our 4th of July celebrations and not cause fire or injuries. And welcome everybody. 
Every year we see the results of tragedies from illegal fireworks, including injury, death, and loss of property. We witness this every year. So we're proud to join the fire department in trying to get the word out to people to, to refrain from the illegal use of fireworks. And we also are going to be out in force. We'll have a zero tolerance towards the use of fireworks, including citation and arrest. So thank you for helping us get that word out. We want to try to avoid the, uh, the sad events that go along with the tragedies uh, using illegal fireworks. So thank you. Well, you can tell it to all the, the mothers and fathers out there and the uncles, these kids aren't getting these fireworks on their own. In very few cases, the parents are the ones that are procuring it for them and even, even setting it off with them. And I, you know, a lot of those injuries aren't just the kids, they're probably the parents as well. And I'm just telling all of you, it's not worth it. Don't do it. You know, the burn, I'm just talking to, to the, the lady from the Burn Institute over here. And let me tell you, the Burn Institute has people there from all, every area. I think every city, there's some kid in there right, right now. We haven't even had the 4th of July that has this problem. It's not, it's not worth it. You're going to you know, like put out an eye, blow off a finger, burn yourself uh, terribly. You talk about, it says, oh, you might uh, ruin your day. This will ruin your entire life. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Go over to Moreno Valley where they're going to have a great display tonight, Mount Rubido, many other places throughout the county. Go to the beach, but don't buy these fireworks and set them off in your backyard. It is not worth it. Uh, Riverside County Code Enforcement is really proud to work together with these other agencies this time of year uh, to help promote this public education process regarding the uh, illegal fireworks that are out there. Um, our code enforcement staff is really dedicated to educating the public, both in most of the regular land use things we do, but especially this time of year during the uh, time of 4th of July regarding the fireworks. Um, they, they speak with them daily. We have flyers that we actually put out in a lot of the businesses. Um, we're asking all the residents in Riverside County to really just observe and, and, and follow the ordinance, which is 858, which prohibits the use of the fireworks uh, in the county. Violations of this ordinance can result in both citation and fines. Uh, we hope to again to, to echo what Supervisor Ashley just said, to rely on the parents to really set the example to their families by not purchasing these illegal fireworks. Also, be very much aware that your children are being watched too to the point don't allow them to purchase, possess, or ignite any of these illegal fireworks. Keep your family and your neighborhood safe by attending an approved professional fireworks display and we encourage everybody just to enjoy Independence Day with their family and friends but always have safety in mind. Thank you. And within the Department of Animal Services our highest call volume time for the officers in the field happens the 4th of July evening and the next three or four days so it doesn't end with us just on the 4th. So what we ask all of our citizens to do is once you get that ice chest packed spend a moment preparing your animal. Make sure that the animal is in a safe environment that it'll feel more comfortable. All the sounds of the 4th of July, fireworks, uh, light blasts, noises, and even the smells put the animals under tremendous stress. And what does an animal want to do when it's under stress? It wants to run and primarily hide. So an animal will go through extremes. They might just hide under the bed. Some of the extremes that we've seen in the county, they'll actually jump through plate glass windows. And then what do they do? Then they go into the neighbor's house and jump through their window just to get away from the rest of the noise that they find on the street. So we encourage people to put the animal in a, in a quiet room in their home, turn a TV, radio on um, so that that will quiet them. If the animal is used to being crated, please close the door on the crate. Okay, a lot of animals go in and out of their crates. They think they're happy. Well, close the door. If they use doggy doors, lock the doggy door this time before you leave your home, before you're going out to enjoy the fireworks. We would also like to say the most important message of all is there's so many of us that walk our animals every day. We have the collar, the tags, the leash. It's next to the keys in the kitchen. This is the time now to leave the collar and the tags on your animal. This is the time to make sure that your microchip information is current. Um, many of us get our animals microchipped through the local veterinarians, but it's your responsibility as a pet owner to make sure the microchip information is current with the microchip company. So if you have your microchip, if you purchase it with the Department of Animal Services, we have all of your information. 
if it's current, has your phone number changed? Has your address changed? One of the disturbing statistics we wanted to share with you today is that 168 dead animals were picked up last year, the day after the 4th of July. That's a lot of animals that didn't make it. So please, we encourage you as well to be safe during this time. And also when you go to enjoy the legal fireworks shows, actually it's best for you to leave your animal at home. Keep it secure at home. Don't take it with you. Thank you very much. You know, I just want to say thank you to Cal Fire and to, you know, you've got a great board of supervisors here in Riverside County for taking a hard stance on the, the fireworks. Um, it's timely. It's needed. Our burn unit is full. And like Chief said, Dr. Joe, bless his heart, he wanted to be here, but they're just swamped at the hospital. We work directly with the Edward G. Hirschman Bird Center at Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. What we do is we provide um, support and programs for the newly burned and their families, as well as long-term lifetime support for those that have been burned. I ran across, across some stats from 2011, and I thought it was very alarming and something we should share. In that study, 65% of all fireworks in 2011 were sustained in the 30 days surrounding the 4th of July. Not necessarily on the 4th, but everybody's playing with them, gearing up to have a great 4th, and that's when the problems happen. Each year, 8,600 Americans, and half of them are children, are treated in our emergency rooms across the nation. Of those burned, 54% of them are children, and they're under the supervision of their, of their adults, their families, or their friends. 26 of these children, 26%, to me this is very sad, they're just the bystanders looking to enjoy the evening with their friends and family. Those are the children that have been severely injured. Burn injury is serious, whether accidental or inflicted remains one of the le leading causes of childhood death and disfigurement in the United States. For these children who survive a serious burn, injuries, permanent scarring, physical deformity, social isolation, and emotional trauma linger well beyond when the scar heals. We never know when a fire, small firecracker could severely alter the life of someone we love. We urge you and we beg you to have a safe fourth at a designated community fireworks show. Sadly, um, I want to share with you just briefly, since the beginning of the year, we have had 29 new children admitted into our programs. I do believe, as I was talking to Supervisor Ashley, we have every city in every county in San Bernardino and Riverside, a child of theirs is in our program. So today, I just salute what Riverside County is doing and all of you, and uh, thank you. We work together, and one day it will get better. Thank you. When anyone's ever burned, they're typically burned on the face and the hands. So that means a person who's burned on the face and scarred, every time they go to the mirror, wash their face, brush their teeth, they see a video replay of that burn event. They see their face. It's ugly. They know it's ugly. When they look at other people in public gatherings and the people look at them and turn their head away, it's because the other person can't stand to look at the burn uh, scar. So I, I just beg of you to be careful. If we can save any degree of burn injuries, it would be wonderful. Lastly, before I call Sergeant Epps up, I want you to think about the two points that we really want to accomplish today. And that stress, what are illegal and safe and sane fireworks and how they're not allowed in the county areas and in most of the cities of Riverside County. The other point that's critical to make is please attend a public fireworks display. The points have all been made. The backgrounds have all been substantiated. No more, no, no more to say. Sergeant Epps, you're up. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sergeant Epps. I'm the supervisor for the Riverside County Sheriff's Hazardous Device Team. 
Uh, this morning we have two demonstrations lined up. The first one is uh, in the mannequin's hand. It's going to represent a small explosive firework, uh, common, commonly found throughout the county this uh, holiday season, and some uh, the same type of device that we frequently see injuries uh, and property damage from. The same device also will be placed in the melon uh, on the road next to give an idea and a visual effect of the potential that they hold for destruction.